happy Saturday evening. I'm Riley King, and welcome to this Saturday evening edition of the Riley King Newscast, right here on the Riley King Network. We have a lot of news to get to this Saturday evening, so let's begin. First up, COVID-19 in New Hampshire. What you need to know. And here is a look at your COVID-19 in New Hampshire. 187 number of people in New Hampshire who have tested positive for COVID-19. 591,802 number of people worldwide who have tested positive for COVID-19. Two number of deaths from COVID-19 in New Hampshire. 30 number of people hospitalized with COVID-19 in New Hampshire and 1,581 number of deaths from COVID-19 in the United States. Zero cases in Coas, 26 cases in Grafton, 8 cases in Carroll, 9 cases in Belknap, 11 cases in Stratford, 11 cases in Merrimack, 2 cases in Sullivan, 2 cases in Cheshire, 43 cases in Hillsborough, and 75 cases in Rockingham. New cases each day in New Hampshire. In the purple here are daily new positive COVID-19 cases. In the orange, new hospitalizations. And in the red are the deaths. Common symptoms. How it spreads. Prevention tips. And your common symptoms are fever, cough, and difficult breathing. Sununu urges some out-of-state visitors to voluntary self-quarantine. Governor Chris Sununu on Saturday urged out-of-state visitors coming to New Hampshire for an extended period of time to voluntary self-quarantine aimed at concerns about the spread of the coronavirus. This applies to individuals who come to New Hampshire for an extended stay at a hotel, vacation home, other vacation, or home rental, or an extended stay with family or friends, Sununu said in a statement. Sununu said the request does not apply to those who come to the state for work. He also said it does not apply to individuals making same-day trips to New Hampshire for work to purchase essential goods or service or to check in on a close family friend, member, or friend. The request came on the first day that a stay-at-home order was in effect in the state. The order requires all non-essential businesses to remain closed until May 4. The request follows a similar plea from Massachusetts Governor Charlie Baker, who urged travelers arriving in the state to self-quarantine for 14 days. All As of Saturday afternoon, New Hampshire had 187 confirmed cases of COVID-19, with two deaths reported. Fire destroys Hudson Home. A Hudson Home is considered a total loss after a fire Saturday morning. The fire broke out at the one and a half story home at 21 Alvine Drive about 6.45 a.m. The Hudson Fire Department said in a press release. Two residents made it out safely, but a cat died in the blaze. The cause of the fire is under investigation, but it believes to have started accidentally. 
Concord police respond to barricaded subject. Neighbors asked to stay inside. Police responded to Franklin Street area. Take a look at this photo from taken from the scene. Law enforcement worked to contact a barricaded subject. People in the areas of Franklin Street and North State Street are being asked to stay in their homes as they are currently trying to get a barricaded subject out of the home. Law enforcement was called to the area for a report of a domestic assault incident shortly after 9 a.m. The alleged suspect fled the scene before police got there and is believed to be held up in another residence in the area and has barricaded himself inside. Police say the situation is still developing. Concord police are working with the Central New Hampshire Special Operations Unit. They are asking people to avoid the area. Anyone with questions or information about the incident can call Deputy Chief at 603-230-3735 or the Concord Regional Crime Line at 603-226-3100. Coronavirus Live Update. Trump considered enforceable quarantine in New York. New Jersey, 200 U.S. cities lack face mask. The number of confirmed cases worldwide has reached 600,000. The amount of the novel coronavirus cases around the world and in the U.S. continued to skyrocket. By Saturday morning, the number of diagnosed COVID-19 cases around the world surpassed 649,000. It was just Thursday that the globe reached 500,000 cases, which was doubled the number of coronavirus cases from a week before. The U.S. surpassed 115,000 diagnosed coronavirus cases Saturday, according to data compiled by the Center for Sys. STEMS Science and Engineering at John Hopkins University. There are at least 1,891 deaths in the country. At least 137,000 people have recovered from the virus during this pandemic. Today's biggest developments. Global cases top 600,000. U.S. cases Cross 100,000. Italy death reach 10,000. Trump considering enforceable quarantine in New York. Rhode Island targets New York. And that does it for this evening edition of the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Saturday evening. Thank you for watching this evening edition of the Riley King newscast. I'll see you back here tomorrow for another newscast. I'll have a news report coming up in a little bit. Good night and bye everyone.